Hello, welcome to another How to Code Well video tutorial. My name is Peter Fisher, and this video will follow on from the previous Docker tutorial where I demonstrated how to install Docker Machine on a Ubuntu um, uh, Linux system. This tutorial will demonstrate how to create a Docker Machine on the Ubuntu system. Um, so we have SSH'd into uh, the Ubuntu box at the moment, and if we did a Docker Machine LS, we can see that we don't actually have any um, machines created. So let's go and um, let's go and create one now. So to do that, we would do Docker Machine, and we would pass in create. Now the two um, minimum requirements of creating a Docker Machine is passing the driver and also the name of the Docker machine that we wish to create. So the driver in this case, we're going to use um, VirtualBox. So that's minus D virtual, virtual box. And the name of the machine that we wish to create, I'm just going to do temp dot sysadmin dot local. OK, so let's um, press enter now, and that should create the virtual the, the, the docker machine so it's doing a bunch of pre-checks and it's returned an error saying that the vbox manage application cannot be found um, to ensure that virtualbox is installed and the vbox manage is on the current user's path well let's go and just double check if it is so let's do where is um, virtualbox So we can see that VirtualBox isn't on the system. There's no knowledge of where VirtualBox is. So we need to install VirtualBox. So to do that, we would do sudo apt get install VirtualBox. OK. So it's, um, it's saying that the following additional package will also be installed, which is VirtualBox hyphen qt that's fine it suggested some of the packages to install we don't necessarily need them right now um, it's going to be uh, eight eighty nine point three megabytes big so it's going to be quite a large installation um, so what I'll do is I'll skip the video forward and, and um, speak to you all again once it's been installed so let's run that now Okay, we can see that VirtualBox uh, Qt has been set up and the VirtualBox itself has been installed. So what I'll do is just clear the screen down and I'll run where is again just to ensure that we, we do have knowledge of VirtualBox on the system. So we can see that it's installed to user uh, bin VirtualBox and these are the other instances um, or the other locations that we're aware of for VirtualBox. So now we should be able to, if I did move it up a bit, we should be able to continue and create the Docker machine. So Docker machine create minus D is the driver flag. We're using VirtualBox, which we've just installed. The name that we're going to use for the Docker machine is temp.sysadmin.local. So let's press enter. It's doing the checks again, and we are copying the boot to Docker ISO from the cache that we've uh, previously used before. Um, it's creating the VirtualBox VM and uh, setting up the SSH keys. It's now checking the uh, the network to recreate if needed and waiting for the IP. Sometimes waiting for the IP can take a bit of time. Um, hopefully it won't take too long for this video. Okay, so um, we've got the IP. We're waiting for the machine to be up and running, uh, waiting for the SSH to be available, which it is, um, provisioning it with boot to Docker, and then uh, yes, the the client has been created, the Docker machine has been created. So, uh, in order to get the environment variables of uh, Docker machine, we need to run um, Docker machine env temp.sysadmin.local so let's do that let's clear the screen and do docker machine 
env and then the name of the machine that we've just created so sys admin dot local and we can see here that uh, we've got a bunch of um, uh, environment variables that have been uh, that will be set if we run this here so we're going to evaluate the environment variables of uh, this docker machine so let's copy that in and paste so that's now set so I should be able to therefore do echo and then one of these variables so let's uh, ver let's um, copy the host for example so echo dollar docker host should echo out the the host for the docker machine which it is another thing we can do is just go back to docker machine ls to list out the machines that we have so we can see that the machine um, has been created it's active well, that's what the star here mean the asterisk means here the driver is virtualbox that's the, the driver that we installed it with the state is currently running that's the IP the URL that it's um, sent to this is the version of uh, of docker that we're using and um, if this terminal was slightly bigger you could also see the errors um, on this line and there isn't any errors at the moment okay so that's a, a quick demonstration then of how to install or how to create I should say docker machines um, using Ubuntu Linux thanks again thank you for watching please click the like button if you found it useful and make sure to subscribe to get the next tutorial if you have any comments questions or queries then please leave them in the comment section below alternatively you can tweet them to my Twitter handle which is PFWD thanks again and I'll see you soon